Hi YouTube, today I wanted to quickly make you a video, or well, maybe not quickly, make, it's going to be a pretty long video I guess, um, about how to make your Mac way faster. If your Mac is pretty crappy and slow, this video will help you get up to speed and nice again. So, first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that your Mac is updated to Snow Leopard. Okay? And if you don't want to buy Snow Leopard, you can just download it for free. And I have another video showing how to download something called a torrent. So if you want to download Snow Leopard first. Now Snow Leopard will only work on MacBooks, MacBook Airs, or MacBook Pros, or like desktop Macs and stuff. No G4s. Um, so you type in Snow Leopard. Snow Leopard torrent. Okay. Then you're just going to click on the first one. And then you're just going to download it. Uh, but please watch my video first about how to download torrents. So you just download that. Now, I know you might like this beautiful wallpaper here, but just get rid of it. It's going to save a ton of RAM, okay? So just go here, and you're going to go to desktop, salad colors, and you're going to want blue because that doesn't require any RAM. Now, as much as you love these gadgets and dashboard, get rid of them all because each widget takes like 30 megabytes of RAM. And let me tell you, that's a lot of RAM. So we just disable them all. Okay, now another thing you're going to want to download, you have to pay for unless you download it via torrent. It's called Clean My Mac. It makes your Mac super fast, deletes all of your system junk, and you may think, oh, it's a scam. Well, if it's a scam, why would Apple have it on their website, okay? So, clean my Mac torrent. And you're going to want to download 1.9.2 or 3. And you'll find it right here. Now, let me tell you, don't ever do updates. Once you download and install it, don't do updates if you download it via torrent. But... Now, clean my Mac. It is so cool. Okay, so I already just scanned it a few minutes ago. I did a few scans on here. And it's already got 7.5 gigabytes. All I have to do is just click scan. And, wow, it found 200 megabytes already. And I just scanned it about 5 minutes ago. No joke. So, it is crazy how it works so good. And it'll just keep scanning. So, that's really good to do. Now, one more thing is uh, you do not want a lot of icons on your desktop on a different Mac. I had a bunch of icons, and I put them in a folder right here called Everything. So you would just make a new folder, call it whatever you want. I'll call it Everything. And then you just drag all of your stuff here and put it right into this folder. So that's what you would do. So that's one way to wake it faster, too. Now, another thing that you should do is go to settings, click on accounts, and click on log on items. You don't want many things here. If you have an item, you just click on it and click the minus button right there. So I don't want to delete anything though. Okay. Now, some more things are you go to sharing. And you're going to want to turn almost all of these here off because you don't need any of these. Okay? And um, also, you're going to want to turn your Bluetooth off. So make sure it's off like I have it. And you're going to want to turn off all of your extra things that you don't need. Now, another thing you're going to want to do is you're going to run, go to Macintosh HD, Applications, Utilities. And you're going to want to go to Disk Utility. You should do this maybe every mm, six months. Okay. Um, this is actually just going to totally speed up your um, Mac. It's basically the same thing as um, a defragment on your PC. So you're just going to click on Verify Disk Permissions and then Repair Disk Permissions. So do both of those and your Mac will run much more quick and efficient. Also, you're going to want to not have many icons in your dock down here. So you don't want a lot of icons. And another thing that actually uses up a lot of uh, RAM 
desktop and screensaver, and translucent menu bar, you don't want that checked, because that actually does use a lot of RAM. And some other things are, you just don't want a lot of things running. I have Safari, ScreenFlow, and Clean My Mac. Let's see. Okay, it's already got 239. And some more things are, whenever you get rid of your applications here, you don't want to just delete them and throw them into the trash can here. You want to delete them the proper way. That's why I got App Zapper, okay? So, App Zapper you have to pay for. Again, all that you're going to have to do is just go to Google and type in App Zapper Torrent and download this one right here. And App Zapper, you just open it. And if there's an application that you don't want anymore, like Hubble Garage Band. If we just delete the application here, it's just going to delete its one application here. But if we drag it into App Zapper, look at all these things here that are associated with it. All this stuff. So when it, whenever we would just put this in the trash, it would only delete this application right here. But look at all this stuff. This GarageBand application support is one gigabyte. So we'd be saving a lot of space. And some more things are you are not going to want to do sleep mode too often you can do it but I would say restart your laptop maybe every day don't keep it in sleep mode that's what my mom does and her laptop is crappy because she doesn't listen to any of my stuff and another thing is just all these folders here you don't want them to be all messy like I have all these you just want to make it kind of nice and clean and another thing is when you go to go to the Safari, and every so often you're going to want to delete your history right there. And you're also going to want to go to pre no, actually empty your cache right there. So I think that is about it for right now. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, and let me know if this helps your laptop speed up. Thanks, YouTube. Bye.